Hi guys, I am currently hid behind a piece of wood, uh, keeping away from the wind because it is very, very windy down here today. Um, basically, I just want to do a quick little video and just uh, show you something. Welcome to the Old Stone Pier. Now I'm going to come out into the wind quickly. Once again, I'm filming this on my phone, so quality might not be great. This is the old stone pier down at Langard Point in Felixstowe. And for years I've always wondered what this was for. Now hang on, I'm just gonna get back in behind this wall. We're gonna creep down here a little bit. Ah. So basically this pier was built in the in the later part of the 18th century into the early part of the 19th century. And it was built to um, carry bombs, there used to be a railway on top of it, carry bombs from Langard Fort, which is in that direction there. There's a pillbox there, they're all spread along here. We'll have a look at some of those on the way back. And uh, yeah, there used to be an old railway that used to carry the bombs, or the mines, sorry. It used to carry the sea mines down here to the end that was then loaded onto ships, taken out to sea, and uh, placed here in the river, is this the Deben or the Orwell? I think this is the Orwell, the mouth to the river Orwell, um, to stop the Dutch from invading. So uh, there you go, that's a little bit of history for you. That's the most history I've ever done before in a video. And uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk up this way and I'm gonna show you some of the pill boxes on the way back. Okay, so uh, bear with me. That's the top of the pier. And it's bloody windy. Uh, hey, look, there's one there. I'm just hiding behind a wall at the moment so I can speak to you and uh, let's go over and take a look. Oh, I'm not going to be able to see inside, but you guys can. Anything interesting? Oh, oh it's just dark. Oh, wow. Sorry if you couldn't see anything. <laughs> it's literally just dark. Up there, you can see some sort of rail that looked like it might have had a gun emplacement on it. So, uh, let's go around to the back. Get out of the wind. Oh no. Oh wow, this lighting is crap. There we go. Bricked up the door so we can't get in there. Is that a way in? Nope. Okay. So that's the first one. And there's one just over there. There. See you over there. Here we go. Pillbox two. Well, I'm saying number two. It's the second one we've looked at. It's not actually name number two. Once again, the uh, door's been blocked up, so we can't actually see in there. I'm guessing all these were uh, probably built around the same sort of time. I can't even poke you guys through the window. That's a shame. Well, there's another one over there. About there. We'll go and see what that one's doing. Well, I just had to stop quickly. You didn't notice this, but we'll probably explain why it's quite busy in the car. Evergreen. I'm pretty sure that is the, uh, the ship that got stuck in the sewer canal. And um, is the reason why nobody can get any deliveries for anything. If I'm correct, I think that's one of the world's largest ships right there. Anyway, back onto this. So I've just managed to dip down this little embankment. There's still a bit of wind, but it's not as bad right now. I just thought I probably should have done some kind of 
special voiceover for this. Maybe some um, AAA, some anti-aircraft artillery, something along those lines. But once again, it's been blocked off and we can't get in there. Wait, there's a little hole. Hang on. We love exploring little holes on this channel. Sounds wrong. Oh. Hello. Now this is the bit where you don't want to hear a giggly voice. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> let's have a look in this little hole from the other way. Let's let's see if we can get deep inside the hole. Let's see if we can we can penetrate this hole even further. Oh, that is a messy hole. Okay. So we've investigated this hole. Looks like um, this hole needs a little bit of cleaning. Ah, let's move on to the next one. Which is that one. Check it out. Now this is cool. I wish I could get in there so badly. We'll just walk around it for now, have a little look. Again, I'm sorry if the, uh, the wind is being an absolute pain in the ass on this video. Oh, rabbits! You see the rabbits? How oh, hazardous structure! That's a rabbit. Can you see it? Hey, little bunny. Hey, buddy. Why are you not scared? Have you got mixies? Are you, uh, are you a mixie bunny? Oh no, no, he's running. There's another bunny in the bush there. There's loads of bunnies. Right, let's walk around to the other side. It's crazy, there's someone that lives out here, look. I'd actually love to live there. Oh, if you can see these, look. You can see, um, hang on, where's my finger? There it is. There's some little bits up here on top of the hill. That's also part of the main fort. But to get in there and have a look at them, you actually have to pay money to go into the fort and have a look. Which, considering I've lived in Felixstowe for many, many years, is something that I've never actually done and I really want to do. Okay, so it looks like there's a door there. And there's, there's a person over there. What's that? Okay, there's someone watching me. I think there's a door there that you can actually go in and have a look. What we're going to do, oh no, is that I can see bars. Hang on, let's have a look. Just through this window there, it looked like there was a door, but I can see bars across the door, which I don't think are going to allow me in. Now, if there wasn't a person standing outside that house watching, I'd be very tempted to cross that rope and have a look. Building, box fort. I don't know the correct terminology. But that's cool. Right, now there's something over here that I want to go and have a look at that looks like it might have been part of the old railway. It might have been part of the carriage, but I'll see you in there. Now I'm not actually sure what this was. I'm wondering if it was part of the old railway that used to carry the, uh, the mines down to the end of the pier loaded. So there's a bit of an A-frame there, and this. If any of you guys know what it is, or what it was used for, let me know in the comments. Here look, one we can get in. Have a look at this. Let's go inside. Oh, oh Jesus, hang on. I can't get my leg up. Oh my God, I'm not as flexible as I used to be. Ugh. 
Now imagine back in the late 18th century, early 19th century. This would have been your job to sit in here, keep a look out for the for the pesky Dutch. Keep a look out for the pesky Dutch coming up that river, trying to steal our land. If you look out the store, there you go, there's the uh, there's the original fort over there. There's all part of it over there, look, see if we can zoom in for you. There's more over there. One day I'll probably do a video of uh, exploring inside the fort and show you guys that as well. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for, for joining me again. And uh, that's about it. So, uh, cheers, hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Blurry.